So hello friends. So today we are going to learn how the battery charging section works. So I'll show you in this video how the battery charging section works, how their MOSFETs are there, what is the battery charging chips is there, how they interact with the SIO. Everything I will show you in very animation way. So you can easily understand the concept of the battery charging section and easily rectify the problem related to the battery not charging or laptop is not working on an adapter or laptop not working on a battery or battery is not detected. So let's start. So friends, uh, in this video we are going to learn how the battery charging section works and uh, here I will show you the animations very simple way so you can understand how the concept works, how the things work in very simple way. Everything will be on the animation way. So no worry about it to understand the difficult theory. So first we'll see what is a battery, how the battery is there, how many cells are there. So in a in the laptop, the Li-ion batteries are used and the Li-ion cells, the capacity is somewhere around 3.7 volt. So there are three cells connected in series like this. So in series, the voltage is increased. So if the 3.7 volt series, uh, if the 3.7 volt battery is there, which is connected in the series, in that case, the voltage will be added, the voltage will be 11.1 volt. So if the here are the three cells are connected in series, okay. So each cell the capacity is a 3.7 volt. So 3.7 plus 3.7 plus 3.7. So that is 11.1 volt is the output voltage, okay. And each cell have 2 ampere, the 2 ampere current. When the cells are connected in a series, then the voltage get added the voltage is increased but the current remains same so here will be no current addition if there are uh, these cells are 2 ampere each then the total current will be 2 ampere only okay so we'll add three more cell like this this and this so here are three cells here are three cells this three cells are connected in series and this three cells are connected in series so, so here is a 10, uh, so here is a 11.1 volt and here is a 11.1 volt, each row giving a 2 ampere current. Now, these two rows be connected in the parallel like this, like this. So, two rows be connected in the parallel. So, now my output voltage will be 11.1 volt and the 4 ampere because this two row is connected in the parallel. So, the current will increase. So that is the basic structures of the battery. So battery have output is a 11.1 volt. So here is a six cells are there. So the out my output voltage is 11.1 volt. And in battery connector, there are multiple connections are there. In that, there are two wire. This two wire is called the SM bus or it's called the I2C bus. SM bus bus is basically is a two wire communication protocol. It's the battery itself uh, communicate with the SIO and informing the SIO how much the voltage is there, how much charge is there in the battery, okay. So it's a two-wire communication which is directly connected to the SIO. And uh, here is a one more pin is there that is called the temperature. When the battery started charging at that time, SIO monitor the temperatures of the battery and the uh, the next pin is called the system detect. The system detect is, uh, is an optional pin, it is not in all laptops, it is a basically mostly on the Dell laptop and some other laptop, the system detect is pin there. The system detect pin, what is the system detect pin is, when, when the battery is not connected to the laptop at that time, so when we connect the multimeter to this positive and negative terminal, there will, there will be no voltages, that means it will not show any voltage because there is a circuit in, in inside the battery which which uh, close the gates so, so it won't show any voltages at this terminal but when we connect this battery to the motherboard on the motherboard there is one resistor which connected to the ground 
at that time this uh, battery open their gates and we can get your voltage so that is a basic idea of the system detect signal okay so now we understood how the internal structures of the battery now we'll go to the our battery charging section and we'll see how the battery charging section work so friend here is a battery charging section and uh, we can see here the so many components are here so first i'll introduce all the components so here is my input my dc jack adapters my power where i'm going to connect a 19 volt adapter over here and here is a battery which like some it's something like a goda my power source is coming from here here cross this here are the two mosfet like the two gates okay and the power is coming from cross first gate then cross the second gate and here is a small green color that's called the current sensing resistor the current sensing resistor when, when the voltage is passing or the current is passing from this resistor at that time this resistor monitoring the current and this current monitor by this battery charging chips and then voltage will pass to the next department from here so here is a junction this this section is called the junction voltage either is coming from this side or voltage either is or it's coming from this side okay so here is a junction when the voltage coming from the adapter then voltage will travel from here and the voltage is when the voltage is coming from the battery then voltage is coming from this five number mosfet okay from here and here is a buck converter this section is basically used to charge the battery okay so this two mosfet coil and the capacitor is called the buck converter which generate the charging voltage to the battery and uh, so we'll start and here is a sio super input output controller who the monitoring or uh, entire department and here is a battery charging chips which control all this mosfet here are the five mosfet number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 and number 5 here are the five mosfet which control and manage by this battery charging chips and then whatever is there he inform to his boss so sio is considered to the boss to this battery charging chips okay so uh, when we connect the adapter suppose when i connect a 19 volt adapter the voltage is come here and stop here at come here and then it goes to this mosfet number 5 so here is my mosfet mosfet number 5 and this mosfet is a p channel mosfet okay so here is a p channel mosfet now what the p channel mosfet do is the p channel mosfet is work when he get a negative voltage at its gate if if he get a zero voltage at this this terminal then the mosfet is conducted then the mosfet is turn on but when he get a positive voltage to its gate then it turn off so when when we connect the adapter over here and then the 18 voltage will pass from here from here and goes to its gate at that time this mosfet get disconnected he disconnect the power of the battery so the my battery voltage is here which is the 11.1 voltage the this mosfet disconnect it okay so this voltage can't pass this if this voltage is not there like if you remove this voltage then this battery voltage goes from across this uh, current sensing resistor here also a current sensing resistor and this voltage is passes cross this mosfet mosfet number 5 this mosfet is a p channel cross this mosfet and come here at this junction and then enter to the next section that is system voltage and this this is a system voltage goes to the next department but where as soon as we connect the adapter as soon as we connect the adapter then then this 18 voltage or 19 voltage come across this gate and then it disconnect this mosfet the battery voltage is disconnected okay so the next so now the battery voltage get disconnected then here is my battery charging chips and in battery charging chips the all pins are on the all corners wherever we find a dot that pin is a one number and the counting is anti clockwise so now every pin have their own name and own purpose and either of this pin input pins or the output pins but before that 
this battery charging chips require a power to work in electronic every chips require a power to work the uh, that the power is called the voltage and the voltage pin either it's called a vn pin vcc pin vdd pin or vcc pin vcc pin okay so here the battery charging chips require a power and that pin is called the dc in pin okay so now this 19 voltage which coming here which goes to this battery charging chips at its dc in pin i here i uh, 19 volt goes inside this chips and just this chips started working it started functioning okay so battery charging chips now ready to work it's got the power and the next is here are the two resistor and this resistor is called the divider circuit the voltage divider circuit r1 and r2 and according to the ohms law here with the voltage drops here i given a 19 voltage that is 19 voltage is coming to this r1 resistor and this here are the two resistor which is connected into the series and at this junction the 3 volt will be generated the 3 volt will be developed okay and this 3 volt is given to the ac in pin i already told that this battery charging chips have so many pins and they have there are so many names and in one of that name is called the AC in here is not AC in means not the alternating current here is AC in means adapter current in that means if at this pin a at this AC in pin if the 3 volt is generated if 3 3 volt is come across this pin then this chip will come to know that the adapter current is detect or the adapter current is present okay so here will be the 3 volt will the develop 3 volt will be going to this AC in pin or call the adapter current in pin or the AC detect. Okay. So now as soon as this chips get the power voltage 3 volt that is a signal then this chip will come to know that the adapter current is present then what this chip will do is he will trigger this 2 MOSFET just, just like something like that. If someone, co, uh, if someone comes to our house and when he knock our door, then we'll come to know that the someone is there outside our door, then we open the door. So similarly, this signal is something like a knock, okay? If the three volt is appeared here, then, then this chips get the knock and this chip will come to know that the adapter current or the adapter voltage is present, is ready. So as soon as he get this signal, then this chip will drive this AC drive signal here. If this two MOSFET are N channel, then this chip generate a positive voltage. If this two MOSFET are the P channel, then this chip will generate a negative voltage. So we'll assume that this both the MOSFET are N channel, then this chip will drive the positive voltage to their gates like this, like this and the drive both the gates okay like opening the door and then what will happen is then the voltage which is stand here then that voltage will cross this two more spec like this like this like this like this okay and the, when the voltage is passed to this uh, both the more spec then will goes to the next section that is this and this voltage is called system voltage it goes to the next department to the next different different buck converter okay but when when this voltage is passing across this resistor then there will be the voltage drops created here here is a small resistor and the value of this resistor is something like 0 0.02 ohm which is a very very minute below the 1 ohm and this resistor is called the current sensing resistor and when the voltage is some according to the ohms law some some minute voltage will be dropped across these two terminals and from that terminal this chips will come to know that the how much current is passing to this resistors that so that is why this resistor is called the current sensing resistor okay so this resistor is called the current sensing resistor so my dear friends so this resistor is your first test point 
So whenever your laptop is dead, it's not powering on at that time, you are to check here the adapter voltage if you are connected to the adapter. And if the battery is connected, you will get here the battery voltage. The adapter voltage, whatever the adapter is there, if it is a voltage is 19 volt, then you will get a 19 volt. If it is a 18 volt, then, get, then you will get a 18 volt. And if the battery, if the battery is there, if the laptop is working on the battery, then you will get a battery voltage. If it is a 11.1, then you will get a 11.1 volt here. Okay. So, the current, the voltage is appear across this current sensing resistor. Then what will happen is this chips inform to his boss. So, SIO is here, is considered to be a boss and then this battery charging chips generate a 3 volt signal and this 3 volt signal is called AC present or the adapter current present or the adapter current OK, AC OK stand for adapter current OK. So, the battery charging chips send a 3 volt to the SIO saying that the adapter voltage is there. Okay. So, the meaning of the signal is like that. So, after that SIO received this signal, then SIO will come to know that the adapter voltage is present. Then what the SIO will do is SIO start communicating with the battery. So, here is called the SM bus system management bus is a two wire communication protocol which I already told you have the two wire one is called the data and another is called the clock. So, so now this SIO started communicating with the battery asking the battery position like the how much voltage is there inside the battery because here the battery considered to be a go down. So, SIO asking to this go down. So, how much material is there? How much charge is there inside the battery? If the battery says I have only 50 percent charge there, that means the 50 percent battery is empty. Now, once he got the information from the battery, then this chips order to this battery charging chips and ask him to give the power to the battery and he will communicate again to this battery charging chips and give the command in saying he generate the battery charging voltage. Now, here are the two MOSFET, MOSFET number 3 and MOSFET number 4. Here is a buck converter. So, this circuit is called the buck converter. It is a part of the battery charging section. Now, the battery the battery need 11.1 volt and here my adapter have the 19 voltage, the 19 voltage coming from here, but the battery need only the 11.1 voltage. So, here I have to drop, I have to reduce the voltage from 19 to 11.1. For that purpose, we use here a buck converter. The buck converter is a regulator circuit which reduces the voltage. Okay. So, there are the regulator. This, this circuit is called the regulator. Okay. So, now here are the two MOSFET, MOSFET number 3 and MOSFET number 4 which trigger this 19 voltage and generate 11.1 voltage. So, as soon as SIO give the order to this battery charging chips, then this SIO started, sorry, then the battery charging chips started triggering this two MOSFET, switching this two MOSFET like this and this 19 voltage which is here at its drain, that drain voltage started switching and then the 11.1 voltage will be generated that will be filtered by this capacitor and then this voltage entered into the battery and in this way battery started charging. So, I hope you understood this video very well. I show you in very animations way. So, thank you very much for your support. So, have a nice day.